from Augusta, Georgia and Macon, Georgia. I oh. spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers mm -hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me that he knew nothing. What's good, World Cast Match Tribe TV Podcast? Yes, I am in my BMW. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So Jason Aldean has been receiving a lot of controversy lately. <sighs> People, I don't think the guy came off as racist, but... CMT, Country Music Television, has just removed the new video from one of its biggest stars. Jason Aldean's song, Try That in a Small Town, raised eyebrows months ago for lyrics that critics described as evocative of racism. It was actually shot in front of the Murray County, Tennessee courthouse. Historically, that courthouse has seen a lot of racial violence, including in 1927, the lynching of a black man. Jason Aldean, you have some explaining to do. Because I've been listening to that song, Try That in a Small Town, for five days straight. I cannot get this damn song out of my head. I'm proud of him. And what better way to stand up for America? Now there's people complaining about the music video. People gotta find shit to bitch about. But then they wanna talk about, oh, the courthouse, oh, the bad history. Have you seen Hollywood? I bet you if Darius Rucker did it, y'all wouldn't have a problem with it. Ah, I bet you if a black country singer did it, y'all wouldn't say shit. There is not a damn thing wrong in that song. You gotta find a way to make this song racist. Liberals are saying that Jason Aldean's new song is racist. And if you listen to the lyrics of the song, it doesn't allude to anything racist at all. This courthouse, conservatives offered the justification of... So, okay, that happened about 100 years ago. That is one thing that happened there. You think that's the only thing that's ever happened there in the history of existence of this building? No, and it wasn't just one thing, it was two. A mob hung a young black boy in 1927 from the balcony of that courthouse. And Columbia, the place that the courthouse is in, was also the site of a 1946 race riot that nearly resulted in the lynching of future Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall. Well, this with other lyrics he used, like right after he says, try that in a small town, he says, full of good old boys raised up right if you're looking for a fight. Good old boy being a term used to refer to Southern white men who often had loyalty towards in-group and had conservative or intolerant viewpoints. Regardless of whether or not he knew the history of that courthouse, someone on his team probably should have. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason Aldean and my new song, Try That in a Small Town, was written by a couple of the guys in my band, Kurt Allison and Tully Kennedy, uh, also Neil Thrasher and Kelly Loveless. When you grow up in a small town, it's that feeling and unspoken rule of we all have each other's backs and we look out for each other. Here's one thing I feel. I feel like everybody's entitled to their opinion. You can think you can, you can think something all you want to, it doesn't mean it's true, right? So I love my country, I love my family, and I will do anything to protect that. The video was shot at a place where lynching happened and the song has been dubbed a dog whistle to white supremacists. Now this is a news article that surfaced on Friday. It says that Luke Bryan pulls his videos from CMT over Jason Aldean debacle. Says it's time for the Bud Light treatment. Then there's also this article that says that Blake Shelton canceled $30 million project with CMT, saying Jason is my friend. According to concert goers, Jason Aldean brought up the conflict between his wife, Brittany Aldean, and Maren Morris during his concert on Friday night. Jason Aldean had a surprise guest, and while he was teasing the names of who it could be, Here's what went down. He announced Marin Morris, and unfortunately, the crowd responded with a loud set of boos. Marin Morris, previously this year, called out Brittany Aldean for her transphobic comments on an Instagram page. Marin Morris shared why she's so passionate about sticking up for social justice issues, even when multiple country artists and fans disagree with her. There are some names in my mind that I want to give recognition to because I'm just a fan of their music, and they are country as it gets. And I just want them all to know how much we love them back. Uh, and just check out their music after this. It's uh, Linda Martell, Yola, Mickey Guyton, Rissy Palmer, uh, Brittany Spencer, Rannon Giddens. There are so many amazing black women that pioneered and continue to pioneer this genre. And I know they're going to come after me. They've come before me. I know they're going to come after me, but You've made this genre so, so beautiful. I hope you know that we see you. Thank you for making me so inspired as a singer in this genre. So, right here is where we get into the meat and potatoes. Right here on The View, Miss Sunny fills it upon herself. She fills it upon herself to explain why this guy is so racist. Does she have a point? I don't know. You let me know. Well, you, 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 you do agree that he should be allowed to say I, whatever he because wants. Because as a lawyer, when I put my legal hat on, yeah. okay. I don't believe in censorship. Right. However, this man is from Macon, Georgia. My father's from Augusta, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. 
we already know it goes down in the GA. You know, not the DMs. It don't go down in the DMs. It go down in the GA. Like, literally. We know that. We know how racist it is, Miss Sunny. We get it. Honey, honey, calm down. You don't say this shit about Obama. You didn't say none of this crap about all the left other bullshit, right? The left got a bunch of crap that they do and they put it on the right as if the right is the most racist people on the planet. When you got people like Miss Sunny Hosting literally talking about issues that ain't got a goddamn thing to do with her. I spent many summers there. Yeah, both. I spent many summers mm-hmm. there. It is one of the most racist places in this country. Mm-hmm. So don't tell me that he knew nothing I'm about not what that imagery meant. Say- what I, what was invoked for me, which was, you know, I, you're not going to get out of this town, yeah. are those sundown Yeah, don't let the sun areas go down on your ass. Because when there yeah. were times when black people, my mother's in the audience today, thank you for coming. And my mother and father, because they were an interracial couple, were run out of South Carolina by the KKK. And my father is still scarred from that experience, and you are still scarred from that experience. And unfortunately, this became the number one song on US iTunes. We have a problem in this country about race, and the biggest problem is we refuse to admit that it exists. The states with the worst murder murder rates are all red states. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Missouri. He added, there is not a single lyric in that song that references race or points to it. And there isn't a single video clip that isn't real news footage. Did you ever hear of a dog whistle? And while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes too far. No. He's, so I, that's I what's so interesting about all of this, is it does go too far. You've gone too far. No, Whoopi, you've gone too far. And your little other Puerto Rican friend over there. Bruh, you guys are reaching too freaking far. Like, honestly, lay this to rest. I'm on my Dr. Umar shit. Lay this to rest. Beautiful. Be- As a musician. As a musician, recording artist, drummer, myself, been in music for the past, I'm a veteran, so being in this thing for past 25, almost 27 years, I can literally decipher where a person is thinking in lyric format. So let's listen to the lyrics. These are the words. Sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light. What ethnic group of people you know for jacking people at a red light? Boys in the Hood movie, Minister Society, Hooligan, I'm the owner of a liquor store. Yeah, you think it's cool. Well, act like a fool if you if you like. What people put guns on liquor store owners? Who's known for that? Cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag, and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. Well, try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't. Try that in a small town. Is that racist? No. Is it terrible? He's just telling the way it is in a small town. Grandma, I don't think it's racist. Um, I would like to know what you think. Comment below. Comment below. Let me know what you think. That's the end of my video. Peace. Y'all better get the message. Gas Match Tribe Podcast. We like to filter out that bull.